right now, you're taking a look at what I call my wall of haha. And I call it that because it, it's a wall in progress. All the things that make me happy, that make me smile, things that remind me of my childhood, and, and other things um, that make me happy. There are two big shadow box structures here. Um, I got them at a yard sale a number of years ago for $5 a piece. They've served different purposes to me over the years, but each has 16 rooms, total of 32 rooms altogether. And each room, when completed, is going to feature something that was special to me at some point or another in my life. For example, but by the way, only one room is finished right now. This is definitely a work in pro progress, but um, the upstairs in this building is going to feature trolls or wishnips in a, in a scene when it's finished that will showcase them. The one room that is finished has to do with pirates and it is right here and uh, this pirate was dug up here in Saginaw. He's from probably the 1890s and he was made out of lead with a uh, the face is some other kind of material but the body is lead. Um, it was badly corroded and and uh, this is all that was left of him, but he's pretty, pretty neat piece nonetheless. And so this room was constructed with different elements that would, um, that would set him, stand him out. For example, back here is an 1890s uh, fan that was actually given away at a funeral home, but it shows a dock scene in the 1890s. Nice color lithograph, um, little casket-like treasure chest. Um, and I, I, you know, this room I can also add things to later on. But as of right now, this room is complete. The only one that, that is. Okay, hanging on the actual wall. Here's a Looney Tune comic book from 1954, the year before I was born. But I love Looney Tunes. They're funny. Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, and so many other characters that we grew up with that are simply awesome characters. And, uh, by the way, all these things I'm going to show you are random added myself. Above Looney Tunes is Scooby-Doo, and this book, I believe, is from the 1980s. Um, not from my childhood, but still, I love Scooby-Doo, and I became aware of Scooby-Doo through my stepson, David. Um, this one was uh, when it was being published by Marvel Comics. It was also published by Gold Key and DC at one time. Okay, over here in the big frame is a... 19, I'm sorry about the glare, but I tried to do this last night where there wasn't any glare and everything turned out too uh, glittery, so I, I, I have to, I'm sorry if you have to put up with the glare. This is a full page, uh, two page comic uh, section from uh, the Detroit News of 1936. And on the left hand side is Thimble Theater, which of course featured everybody's favorite sailor man, Popeye. And on um, the right-hand side of it is Tex Thorne, which was uh, by Zane Gray. And below it, King of the Royal Mounted, also by Zane Gray. See if I can get some close-ups here without it blurring too badly. Um, Popeye, this was still when he was wearing a, a black uh, shirt. This particular one is hilarious because it's about Popeye. Uh, had, had created an underwear put around her for babies. And through a mix-up of circumstances as he's trying to show one mom how it worked. Sausages, sausages came out instead of the baby and they thought that he had turned the baby into sausages. But anyways, it's really funny. Below that, also from 1937, is a uh, Mickey Mouse uh, <coughs> comic strip, Sunday comic strip, full color. With Mickey, Goofy, um, Minnie Mouse, and a ca an extra cast of many interesting and funny Western characters. This is a Western story um, about Mickey and Minnie. Here's Detective Comics number 336 from February 1964. Unfortunately, this is cover only. And this was given to me by my friend Gil Albert. Um, I remember actually having this one when I was a kid. And Barney Google with the googly googly eyes. You remember that song, Barney Google? with the goo goo googly eyes. Barney Google had a wife three times his size or something like that. But anyways, uh, he was a popular comic strip character in the 1920s and 30s. 
Um, and he had a, a song written about him, which was a foxtrot, which was very popular too. And this is the original sheet music for that song. You can see Barney and his uh, faithful horse spark plug there. And the song was by Billy Rose and Conrad, or Con Conrad. And uh, Barney Google was created by Debeck. We only, we only did it his last name. Above Barney Google, now this isn't a, a laughable feature, but it still brings a lot of memories back of my childhood. Uh, Barnabas Collins and Dark Shadows. Now, when I made this shadow box, I dimensionalized the uh, cover of the Famous Monsters of Filmland magazine that featured Barnabas Collins. And then on the left is an actual book from the uh, Marilyn Ross Dark Shadows paperback book series. Um, this one happens to be number 32, Barnabas Quentin and the Vampire Beauty. Uh, so this is one of my favorite pieces, by the way. Over here we have Superman, and this is actually a Superman pillowcase that I've had for a very long time. Um, I was thinking, you know, this isn't very old because it was uh, copy or has a copyright date on it of 1978, and I was thinking, oh my God, that was a long time ago now. I am ancient, but um, I found a frame that it would fit in. That's how it turned out. Favorite movie I did this shadow box to honor Invasion of the Saucerman, which brings smiles to my face because I watched it as a kid on WJRT-TV out of Flint, Michigan um, on Theater Thrills, hosted by Christopher Coffin. And it was one of my favorite science fiction movies back then. Now it's kind of laughable, but uh, I love it nonetheless. This is a fairly recent vintage bobblehead of the Saucerman. Um, there's some little aliens in here that glow in the dark. And then um, some uh, pictures and other items that I printed off the internet. But it made an interesting shadow box, I thought. This picture, along with the one I'm going to show you next, um, used to hang in my dad's workshop in Oscoda, Michigan. <clears throat> um, this one is of a monkey, a chimpanzee named Wanda. And in the upper corner, there's four different images of her. It says, she strips, she impersonates, <laughs> she, she, she dances, and she uh, educates. Love that one. And then the other picture that was hanging there is this poor old dog with a hangover and a cold compact on his head as he's trying to endure the suffering of that hangover. <laughs> and then uh, one last, oh no, there's a couple last pieces I'm going to show you. Up here is another Sunday panel of Mickey Mouse in the 1930s and also is from that, uh, that uh, Wild West story. Then back down here to the shadow boxes, we have a really cool uh, dinosaur here. I love dinosaurs, always have since I was a kid. Uh, this one I found beside the road on trash day. And he actually had batteries left in him, and he works. Uh, he growls and roars and loses back legs and scuff, uh, shuffles along. It's pretty cool. I couldn't leave him out in the trash. But what was really neat is the next day, <coughs> on a different road, I found an ident identical dinosaur, again, with the uh, batteries in it and completely working. And I think that uh, <laughs> those are, are awesome, cool, and they bring a smile to the face, and they were free. <laughs> so the Wall of Haha -Ha is going to be an ongoing project, and I will bring you more about it as it goes on and as I finish the rooms in the shadow box houses. So I hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day and God bless.